Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're starting a new series of Test Your Knowledge in Physics and the topic is going to be moment of inertia. We're going to start by showing how to calculate the moment of inertia of a single, uh, what we call a thin bar, of length L of mass M rotating about one of its ends. So what would be the moment of inertia? Well, let's figure out by using calculus. So what we're going to do first is take a small little element of this bar we'll call a small little dx, so that's the thickness of that little segment, and we know that it's a distance x away from the point of rotation. Also what we can say is that this little segment has a mass, let's call it equal to dm. And so therefore what we can do then is we can say that the small little moment of inertia due to that small little segment is equal to the mass, dm, times the distance squared that would be x squared. So that would be the moment of inertia of the small little thing rotating about the axis. So we use the equation i equals mr squared, where m is a small little mass dm, and the distance is x, and therefore it's x squared. Okay, what we need to do now is somehow relate dm to dx. So we want to know what dm is equal to, and we can say that dm is equal to the mass of the whole bar times the ratio of the length of the segment compared to the length of the whole bar. So that ratio would be dx divided by L. So what we do is we take this fraction of the total mass is the mass of the little segment. So that means we can replace dm by that and then notice what we have. di is equal to m times dx over L times x squared. Now notice on the right side we have an x and a dx, which is good, m and l are constants, so now we can go ahead and integrate. So the integral of di will give us the total moment of inertia, with other words that's adding up all the little dx segments or dm segments, and so this will be equal to m over l times the integral of x squared dx. And of course we're going to integrate that from x equals 0 to x equals l. So now we go ahead and do that, so we get the moment of inertia is equal to m over l times the integral of x squared is x cubed over 3, and we're going to evaluate that from 0 to l. Now of course when we plug in the lower limit we get 0, when we plug in the upper limit we get l cubed over here, so we'll say that the moment of inertia is equal to, that'll be 1 third m over l times, plug in the upper limit we get l cubed. Of course, this L will cancel out one of those L's, so we have moment of inertia, therefore is equal to one-third ML squared, which by now you probably know that that is indeed the moment of inertia of a long thin bar that's rotating about one of its ends. And so you can see that that's how we calculate that using the technique of integration. And that is how it's done. 